Hello and welcome. This is Neldrin and today we'll discuss the Operation Siren. But before we start, for our question of the day. Given a chance, which of the ships you want to have a meta version? For me, I want to have a Kent meta. Hey, Skika! Maybe, just maybe. People will start wanting to have her. No, but kidding aside, I like to have a Leipzig meta. I really wanted to see a real, intimidating looking fishy, similar to Shapayev's friend. I also wonder what will be her personality in her meta form. Now, onto the guide. Operation Siren is a mid to late game content, in which you can sortie up to four fleets and explore to different zones. You will be able to challenge the seasonal meta boss, which you can also acquire after tedious daily grinding. Aside from the meta boss, Operation Siren also offers materials for you to craft some of the best gears in the game. To be honest, Operation Siren is quite intimidating at first, since there are a bunch of new terms and features that are quite confusing to understand. Because Operation Siren has its own unique resources exclusive to this game mode only. So here are some of the terminologies and features that you will encounter. OS or OPSI is the abbreviated term for Operation Siren. AP or Action Point is your stamina in OPSI. All your fleet won't consume oil so you can go all out on your fleet building. Meta coordinates are what you need to collect for you to start challenging the meta boss. It can be acquired by completing missions and obtaining loot boxes. Meta coordinate logger is just the counter of meta coordinate you have collected. To simplify, these two are just the same. Meta showdown is where you will challenge the meta boss. You have two attempts if you are collecting meta coordinates daily. And you have three attempts to offer your help to your friend, guildmates, or to a random person in the game. When challenging a boss, it is better to ask for assistance so that you can complete the boss fight immediately. Finishing a boss fight will give you sync points. Sync points are what you need to unlock the meta ship and other collectibles. Data Sync will redirect you to the synchronized page of Meta Lab where you can check the progress of your Meta ship grind. The port is where you can buy items, get missions and heal your ships. This is also where you can change your current Opsi fleet composition. Changing your fleet immediately will cost you a huge amount of action points. This is not recommended especially if you will be actively playing this game mode. The AP cost will decrease eventually and will be free again after 24 hours from your last fleet update. Take note that red ports don't have the features of blue ports. So better to visit red ports only when the mission is located here. Speaking of missions. The missions in Opsi are different from your daily missions. They can be acquired on the blue ports whenever a notification is displayed. The accepted missions can be viewed in the information tab. By pressing the view button, it will redirect you to which map you need to visit. Depending on the map you are visiting how much AP you will spend. When visiting a map, there are zone types namely explorable, secured, hidden, abyssal, or stronghold. Explorable or also called as dangerous zones is the default zone during the start of the monthly cycle. When you clear this map once, it will become secure. You can revisit the explorable zone, but it will be empty, and you need to wait for the monthly reset for the enemy to respawn for this zone. Once the map is secured, or also called a safe zone, the map has no more fog of war and can freely navigate everywhere. You need a map and siren coordinates to be able to enter the hidden and abyssal zones. Strongholds will spawn randomly weekly. The said three zones have numerous loot so always visit these zones. The Operation Supply Coins, or what I usually call, OS Coins, are your common currency in OPSI. Special Item Token or simply called Token is another common currency in OPSI. Both the OS Coin and Token can buy items in your port, but cannot be used interchangeably. I will discuss in my upcoming video how to farm these two currencies. 
as long as there will be no other events to cover. Going back, as mentioned earlier, map and siren coordinates are needed to open up the hidden and abyssal zones. The supply shop voucher, or just call it a voucher, is a currency you will get every first day of the month, during OPSI reset. These are the unused items in your storage, each having their own value. Speaking of reset. I'm not sure for the correct term, but I can say that OPSI is a one-month recurring event. Every month, some of your progress will be reset. It is easy to remember the reset date because it is always the first day of the month. In random occurrences, Akashi Shop will be available to any zones except Abyssal and Strongholds. She will be selling tokens and other items that you might need exclusive to Opsi only. Lastly, the gear and item tabs will just redirect you to your depot. Before I proceed, I just want to know if you have questions or maybe something I missed out. Just let me know in the comments section. Operation Siren will be unlocked when you reach Commander Level 60. At the start, there is a story mode which you need to complete first before you can proceed to farm for Ashen coordinates. Ideally you want an average level of 100 for your fleet to complete all stories and clear most of the zones. And have an average level of 115 to 120, if you want to complete the harder content of the game such as the high corrosion level zones, Abyssal and Stronghold. As mentioned earlier, Opsi is mid to late game content. Assuming that we are just starting out from monthly reset, the only accessible zones are the ones near the ports. You can jump to any of them. The rest of the map can be visited once the adjacent map is secured. If it happens that the map next to you is explorable, and at the same time has a hidden or abyssal zone, you can choose which zone you want to play first. Take note that doing the hidden or abyssal zones won't make the map secured, if you haven't completed the explorable zone yet. Before you enter a map, double check the corrosion level. It should match your combat effectiveness. If the corrosion level is higher than your combat effectiveness, then you might have difficulty completing the zone. To raise your combat effectiveness, you need to raise the three adaptabilities. Certain maps will raise a specific adaptability. Some maps have special mechanisms to choose which one to raise. And some maps will give you random adaptability. You can also buy tuning samples to any of the ports, if available, to also increase the set adaptabilities. Ideally, you want to have at least 200 to be fully prepared for strongholds. Higher adaptability, the better. Also, make sure that your fleets are level 115 or higher, or else they will be decimated at strongholds. As much as possible, you want to enter hidden and abyssal zones, because of the plentiful loot you can get. For the hidden zone, you can ignore most of the enemies. You don't need to battle them for loot, and they don't give EXP either. I usually use the request recon, and let the auto search do the thing here, because it is more efficient than manually doing the tasks here. For the abyssal zone, you can check for the boss gimmicks using the scan command. And the following are their weaknesses. If for example, you tried everything but your fleet cannot defeat the boss in the abyssal zone or complete the hidden zone. Tapping the outside of the map will notify you that you cannot escape. Don't panic. You can always hit the exit button at the lower right of your screen. But by doing this, you will no longer be able to re-enter the said zone. In other words all the potential loot will be gone. So only hit the exit button only if you already use your regroup and rest command, and are still unable to clear the map. Strongholds are more flexible because you can get out and re-enter the zone. For example you want to heal up using your OS coins, or you want to change your current fleet. Your current progress will be saved before you leave the stronghold zone. Before leaving any zone. Make sure to use your scan command to double check if you missed some hidden nodes or loot. 
For strongholds, sometimes there are foggy areas that your scan won't detect. You need to enter this foggy area and check your radar for possible loot. Gear Lab and Meta Lab are associated with Operation Siren. I'll discuss more about the Gear Lab sometime soon. Meta Lab is where you can check the progress of your Meta ship. The following tabs are just renamed to what we used to have in the dock. To limit break your meta ship, you need to grind Operation Siren daily to get the extra copies of the ship. Bullens cannot be used for limit breaking. To enhance your meta ship, you need materials that can be acquired by. You guess it, by grinding Opsi. These materials can also be bought in the shop if available. Leveling the skills of your meta ship is different from the usual. You need 5 T3 books, depending on the color to start the skill leveling. There are certain tasks you need to complete for it to level it up. If you want to level it up faster, you have to use the meta ship in battle, especially in Operation Siren. Lastly, the synchronization is just your progress status in obtaining rewards of Opsi. Think of it as a battle pass of Opsi, but it's free. And there's no other way to speed up the progression other than the daily grind of this game mode. Gear Lab will be discussed in the future along with how to farm resources needed in the future. I hope that this guide helps you in understanding the gameplay of Operation Siren. If you need clarifications, feel free to comment it down below. And don't forget to subscribe to support my channel. You guys are awesome and see you next time.